Oh yes, and they want to bring this sort of um, Sharia law to Britain. Cut off your hands, cut off your heads, cut off your fingers, cut off your toes, cut off anything, beat you up, etc. Well, you know, th that is for the average population. And what about the Imams? They don't get that. You know, what w we in actual fact, the British people, must wake up and realize we're sleepwalking into some sort of nightmare here. And you need to have a look at some of these videos that, that are on here, on YouTube. YouTube is doing an excellent job. You know, have a go and have a look at Bridget Gabriels, the survivor of Islamic terror war in America, where they, they came and put uh, tanks right in front of the, 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 uh, the shelter they're in and fired on the Israelis, then moved the tank off so the Israelis would fire back at the tank and, and kill them. That's what it was going on. That was, the, And she said in 1975, suddenly the Islamics just came in and started killing them. The world didn't help them. The only person people who helped them was the Israelis. She said, no matter how many certificates you have on the wall, you don't know how to fight the streets, etc., if the other people have been trained by Iran and all these places. So what, what happened was they begged them, prayed for the Israelis to help them. They taught them how to fight. Stop it actually happening. But it took a lot. It was the Israelis who saved the, the Christians. And then you've got uh, why I left Islam. N Noni Dawish, who was a highly educated um, and respected journalist, she said she fled from Egypt because of what was happening there and the, uh, the violence, and she went to America. She said, now it's all come to America. And I would add to the streets of Britain here, where these monsters, these imams, can shout and scream. And you saw what happened in front of that, Cath if you've seen that one, in front of the Catholic Church, where they were shouting and screaming that Catholics, etc. If we did that in a mosque, we'd be soon picked up. What the hell is going on? What is going on? Go and have a look at the CN CNN report on Islamic threat within Britain. Go and have a look at that to you all, all those who are uh, so uh, liberal-minded to be any earthly good. Um, what about the seven-month pregnant woman? Pre sorry, it says seven months pregnant but robbed and raped in our own home at gunpoint by Muslims. And then, you know, have a look at this one. You know, um, uh, UK Muslims uh, burn England flag. And then go and have a look at this other one on YouTube. A Muslim gang on streets of London. I thought we didn't weren't allowed to have private armies, but apparently we are. They've got these. I mean, you, can you imagine walking down a street and suddenly find a couple of hundred Muslim ragheads with tea towels wrapped around their heads, threatening and with placards, etc. I mean, this didn't used to happen before. Um, you know, but it's very threatening, and you know that these people hate us. They've, they've, they've said so in so many placards, etc. What about the aircraft they wanted to bomb and drop into the ocean and they just managed to catch that one that that particular plot what about what about the bomb bombs in london on the tube and on the trains uh, um, buses what about uh, the, the 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 bomb in 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 uh, spain what about france and all the burning of the cities over there what about uh, holland where a filmmaker was killed and by the way because he's reporting these things he is characterized as being an extremist. I'm an extremist then for reporting things that are continually going on, hundreds of places all over the time, and these people are being defended by some valley. Go and have, have a look at Dr. Twalik Hamid um, and, and see what he has to say. And you know, He was a Muslim. He tells you it like it is. You want to actually see all these things. Then go to the Abrahamic website and you'll see there what they're saying. Abrahamic Faith, I think it's called, dot um, com. Another one that you could actually see. But you know, nothing is like YouTube. You've, YouTube has so much on it. And you, when you get to these sites, you'll be astounded. It's about time these deniers actually look to see what, what is going on. Why did they go and bomb Bali? What about the, the, the killing of all those people in, uh, in the American embassies? Um, and, and uh, you know, um, why do they go and kill all these people? You know, they're rage, waging war in China and uh, India and uh, Bali and, uh, you know, let's take a look at France and Britain and America and Nigeria and uh, all these different places. There's 40 or 50 nations that uh, they're attacking in. And it's always the same thing. Oh, well, if you respect us, and we, we'll do everything. It means just do with everything that you've got. Do with your rights. We established this, and our forefathers fought for these things and died to get these rights. And habeas corpus is one of them. And we, in actual fact, are freedom of speech. Forget about this 
political correctness. Do not start using bad language and insulting people. That's not the idea. But if if it's happened, we must be able to say it. And that is not that is not racism. Is uh, Islamic only? Uh, I've only got Arabs in. Then it would be racist. But if it's got English and white people, and you've got Americans, and you've got Indians, and you've got Arabs, and you've got a whole mix, then it's not racist. It's all part. It's inclusive uh, things like the Catholic Church and the Church. It's inclusive. But what we don't like, we don't hate Muslims. What we do hate is what they're doing. We hate the the the, the Quran, which many of these people will tell you tells them that uh, in various of their verses to go out and kill people and wage war on the local people until they become so afraid that they, they will convert. Is that what we want? To convert to this beastly religion? I uh, I would like to see, you know, as, as, a, as the British people, be like this a little bit for a change, instead of this laid over attitude which everybody think we we are weak. And this is Henry V before Harfleur. Once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more. Or close the wall up with our English dead. In peace there is nothing so becomes a man as modest stillness and humility. But when the blast of war blows in our ears, then imitate the action of the tiger. Stiffen the sinews, summon the blood, disguise fair nature with hard fervor rage. Then lend the eye to terrible aspect. There's a lot more to it, but you know, it's it gives you some indication of how we are and how we should be. Not this, oh well, you know, uh, you know, he wasn't really a bad guy, or the press aren't reporting it because it's too nasty to report, etc. You know, th there's a there's a woman who wrote a letter, and it was given to me recently, and it came today, this morning. It was, came from some minister, um, and it says this this packs a firm punch, and I'll just read a bit of it because I don't have time to read the rest. And she starts off by saying, this woman from New Bris Bris Brunswick, uh, Canada, are we fighting a war on terror or aren't we? Was it or was it not started by Islamic people who brought it to our shores on the 11th of September 2001 and have continually threatened to do so since, and in Britain as well? Were people from all over the world not brutally murdered that day in downtown Manhattan across the Potomac from the capital of the USA and in the field of Pennsylvania? Did nearly 3,000 men, women and children die a horrible burning and crushing death that day, or didn't they? And I'm supposed to care that a few Taliban were claiming to be tortured by a justice system of the nation they came from and are fighting against a brutal insurgency? I start caring when Osama bin Laden turned himself in and repents for incinerating all those innocent people on 9-11. I'll care about the Quran when the fanatics of the Middle East start caring about the Holy Bible, the mere belief of which is a crime punishable by beheading in Afghanistan and many of those Middle Eastern countries. I'll care when these thugs tell the world they're sorry for hacking off Nick Berg's head while Berg was screaming through his gurgling slashed throat. Horrific. Absolutely horrific. And if you don't believe that's horrific, then, you know, I don't know who you are. It's absolutely horrific and unacceptable. And the other thing is, he wasn't the only one. There are hundreds. If you look back on, on YouTube, you'll see them. And there are also as the other sites like um, Abraham website, uh, AbrahamicFaith.com website. I'll care when the cowardly so-called insurgents of Afghanistan come out and fight like men instead of disrespecting their own religion by hiding in mosques and behind women and children, and I would say their manhood as well. I care when the mindless zealots who blow themselves up in search of nirvana care about the innocent children within range of their suicide bombs. I care when the Canadian media, British media and American media stops pretending that their freedom of speech uh, or on stories is more important than the lives of the soldiers on the ground or the families waiting at home to hear about them when some, something happens. In the meantime, when I hear a story about Can Canadian, British or Australian or um, American soldier roughing up a few insurgents to obtain information, know this, I don't care. I really don't care. When I see a wounded terrorist get shot in the head when he is told to move because, not to move because he might be booby-trapped, you can take it to the bank. I don't care. When I hear about that a prisoner who has issued a Quran and a prayer mat and fed special food that is paid for by my tax dollars is complaining that his holy book has been mishandled, you can be absolutely believe it in your heart of hearts. I don't care. And oh, by the way, I've noticed that sometimes I spell Quran or other time Quran, Q-U-R-A-N. Well, Jimmy cracked corn. You guessed it. I don't care. And if you disagree with this point of view, well, that's tough. 
because these are the people who, who are, are, are defending us. Thank you very much for your time.